Jormantide is a large and intimidating monster and you can get one for yourself. Here's how to catch this enormous sea dragon in Palworld. How's it going folks? My name is Broly and welcome back to the channel. So if you are new here and you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do consider doing that as you will be updated in your subscription box and recommended when I do upload new Palworld content. So if you have been grinding the game as much as me and the mass majority of the world definitely subscribe to the channel right now and drop a like in the video so you don't miss out so among the many water type pals in pal world german tide stands out as one of the most intimidating of them all this huge sea dragon is dubbed the emperor of the sea for a reason not only does it look regal but it also has the power to blow most other pals out of the water pretty terrible pun there but we move so german tides are as majestic as they are fearsome and players are going to need to upgrade their tech if they want to catch one for them themselves. Here's a guide on where to find a Jormatoid first of all and how to beat it into submission. So you can actually find a level 45 Jormatoid as a boss enemy in the lake near the investigator's fork and the sealed realm of the thunder dragon teleport waypoints. I'll post a photo on the screen right now as a reference so you guys can get an idea of the location. Just to head up it is surrounded by wild serpents which may complicate things since they actually do attack you on sight so just prepare for that ahead of time. Both Jormatoid and the serpents in the area are water type pals they are strong against fire yet weak against electricity now you don't have to worry about the german tide swimming in the water since you can always pick a fight with one once it slitters onto the land thankfully the surrounding serpents are all within the level 16 range and the german tide should be the only one that poses a real threat to you so i wouldn't really worry too much about the serpents once you have a high enough level pal to back you up so basically at this point of the game if you're going to be capturing pals of this level you should already have access to the production assembly lines and the assault rifle now i would highly recommend bringing this weapon with you to maximize dps against the german tide bring an electric pal like Rayhound, beacon or even lux variants of the Massandra and relaxorus um, you know they will deal massive damage against water type pokemon um, or pals should i say uh, while simultaneously resisting all incoming water based attacks so definitely just bring along the assault rifle and grab yourself some electric type pokemons and um, you know the highest level ones that you have and if not take some time and level up an electric type it will make this so much easier for you so if possible once we reach this location find a piece of cover and stay behind it while taking pot shots at the german tide as much as possible let your pal do most of the work and um, because this German tide does pack a mean punch like I said so definitely get some cover just pop up and down firing some shots to assist your pal now to definitely maximize your odds of capturing a German tide shock it with a stun button then throw your best pal sphere at it legendary pal spheres are highly recommended when capturing this Pokemon and um, so definitely get that done and yes, I know I keep referring to the pals as Pokemon. Um, I know they're not Pokemon, they're pals. I get it. I don't need, you know, the hardcore Pokemon fans in the comment section. Just, yeah, forgive me. So yeah, Jormantide has level 4 watering proficiency, which is actually makes it one of the best pals to use for growing vegetables and operating certain machines like mills and crushers. And you can also crossbreed a Jormantide with a fire type pal to get a Jormantide Ingus. Uh, Ignis sorry uh, which is absolutely incredible so I hope you found this video helpful uh, it's been Broly I really really do appreciate you taking the time today and like I said at the beginning of the video folks if you are new here please do consider subscribing to the channel really helps me out and you'll get more videos like this on your feed so thanks so much have a great day and best of luck on capturing the Jormantide.